Kim Kardashian responds to wanting a fourth baby. And we've got a new Kylie Jenner baby bump pick. Plus, Bella Hadid had a major lip slip. All that and more on today's rundown. Potterheads! We have a Harry Potter crew sailing your way very soon. <laughs> this is super exciting, yeah. but first of all, Bella Hadid had a teeny tiny major nip slip. Bella Hadid was starting her stuff on the Alexander Vautier Spring and Summer 2018 catwalk this week during Paris Fashion Week when she experienced a nip slip after her bustier top slid a little too far down, thus exposing her left breast. Of course, she continued on without a second thought, and honestly, she owned the runway because she's a rock star, obviously. Now, she's had her fair share of wardrobe malfunctions, and so has her older sister, Gigi, but these two are also known for handling these situations like the pros that they are. Did you see this photo, Sinead? I did, I saw it. Yeah. What'd you think? Was it well, too, I, like, one if it like, were you, were you, would you have been embarrassed? I mean, I think that I'm just such an awkward human being yeah. that I'd be like, oh, <laughs> 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 but then again, like, I don't know, because like, this is her job, like her job is to be professional as well. But I will say that like, there's a difference between being professional and like literally looking like you could give to you know what's about what's happening down here. You can't tell at all. There's not a single grimace or ounce of embarrassment yeah. or awkwardness on her face, and it's kind of amazing. I feel like models do also so many photo shoots naked. Yeah, they're like, I and feel I like you're pretty comfortable with your own skin and in your own body, so that's probably why I would probably have a meltdown. Yeah, so would I. And cry. But there's a reason why the Free the Nipple campaign is so big, because it's really not that big of a deal if you actually think about it. It's just, we've been conditioned to make a big deal out of boobs. Yeah. So it's kind of like important for these supermodels as role models not to make a big deal if their boob pops out. Yeah. All right, Harry Potter fans. I don't know if you have any plans this summer yet, but you're about to basically empty your bank account mm -hmm. and make plans for this summer. So there's a travel company called Barge Lady Cruises and they unveiled a week-long cruise on the River Thames in England that will take you to several locations where the real Harry Potter movies were filmed, you guys. The Harry Potter-themed voyage is aboard the luxury boat Magna Carta and this is not your regular cruise ship. So the boat only fits eight people in four rooms and includes two decks, a hot tub, underfloor heating, private dining rooms, and of course, Wi-Fi, because hello, it's 2018. So let's talk money here for a second. The trip is gonna cost you a whopping, get ready, $4,000. And the itinerary includes a stop at Virginia Water Lake, where Harry first encounters Buckbeat and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. You're gonna visit the streets where Harry lived with Uncle Vernon and Petunia Dursley. Um, Sinead, this is all happening in August. This is crazy. Um, the only thing that's really strange to me is that it only accommodates eight people. Well, that's why it's $4,000. Like, who has the money to do this? I don't even have the money to go to the Disney World I mean, and it's like 50 bucks. I know. Day. Disney World? Yeah, I know. And like, Harry Potter World that they... Okay, Harry Potter World at Disney World is unbelievable. It's actually at, is it at Disney World? It's Universal. at Universal. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I went there and I was like 18 and I still remember like just walking through it. So anything Harry Potter themed is always really good. People know how to like capture Harry Potter, but this is like not even that. This is taking you to the actual locations where they filmed the movie. That's that's kind of amazing. They don't do that. It's sad that only rich Harry Potter fans can do this. Like the normal casual Harry Potter fan cannot afford this cruise, you guys. No I'm way. Sorry. It's too I expensive. could literally find more than eight people to split that with me. So why can't they just like let me bring all of my friends? All right, well, Kylie Jenner was just spotted for the very first time since September. And breaking news she's pregnant. All right, just kidding. So the pregnancy rumors have been going around four months, but we've actually seen very little evidence of a baby bump until now. So TMZ obtained video footage of Kylie at a construction site with a group of people, including Jordan Woods and Kris Jenner. And in the vid, Kylie gets into the passenger side of an SUV looking very pregnant. So you practically have to have x-ray vision to even spot her bump. But speaking from experience, what is actually telling about this footage is the way that she gets into the car. Kind of like how someone who's pregnant would get into a car. In a TMZ photo taken the same day, she's definitely looking more pregnant than not pregnant. Now, the construction site she was spotted at is actually in the Hidden Hills, a gated community here in LA where tons of celebs have owned or currently do own homes like Miley Cyrus, Drake, and even Kylie's brother-in-law, Kanye. So is Kylie moving? Well, Entertainment Tonight is reporting that Kylie is actually in the process of building 
her very own compound. According to one of their sources, quote, Kylie wants to build a farm, garden, and have a horse stable. Even a pregnant Kylie is all business. The source also revealed that Kylie really just wants privacy when the new baby arrives, saying, quote, Kylie is so excited about becoming a mother, but it's not lost in her that she's not your average 20 year old. A source told E! News that Kylie is really excited and in the process of getting everything ready for baby. The source dished that Kylie is due early February and that Mama Chris has been helping with the nursery and her older sisters are, quote, helping calm her fears and letting her know what to expect. But even though she's pretty nervous, the source also revealed that she is, quote, so excited to finally be a mom and have the baby in her arms. A lot of Kylie news today. Yeah, um, I know that typically we report on rumors and sources saying things about Kylie that we may or may not have vetted. Right. Um, but if a source is telling E! News, because you know Kylie and the Kardashians and the Jenners all have contracts Absolutely. with E! If E! is reporting something from a source about Kylie and where she is and her perspective that she's due early February, I feel like I actually trust these sources. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? And also, why is the source telling the other outlet that she's building a compound versus just building a house? I know, a compound sounds sounds so weird. It sounds I, culty. I literally like clicked on it. It's clickbait, because I was uh, like, what is a compound? But it's literally a house. And there was even an episode of um, Life of Kylie, uh, I don't know, a few months back, where she basically had talked about wanting a, a farm. She's always wanted a farm. She Same. loves animals. She looked, at, she looked at animals. She was like, how do I get my own chickens? How do I do this? How do I do that? Um, so this is does not surprise me at all. Yeah. It seems like a move that Kylie would do. For yeah, sure. so if she's due early February, technically... You love how you look at your watch. Uh, uh, when, next week? Yeah, like literally any day now we could have a new Jenner baby That's in exciting. the world. It's exciting. Well, we have even more Kardashian Jenner news today. Apparently, there was a rumor that started yesterday about Kim Kardashian already planning baby number four <laughs> with the baby surrogate that she just used. But apparently, according to her, via Twitter, it ain't true. So Kim is officially the queen of shutting down the rumor mill before it gets out of hand. And a bunch of media outlets, like I said, started reporting all of this news yesterday, just nine days after the birth of Kim and Kanye's daughter, Chicago, that they are already planning number four. This source said, quote, even before Chicago was born, Kim was talking about asking the surrogate to carry her next baby. She's so happy with the whole process and thrilled with the surrogate, Kanye was even bonding with the surrogate's husband in the delivery room. So the source also said that Kim definitely wants more kids, and while she's happy being a family of five, she wants the family to be even bigger. So last night, Kim actually responded herself on Twitter. She kind of quote tweeted a Daily Mail article that said that she was already thinking about baby number four with the comment, fake news. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she just had this baby. I know, like four and a half minutes ago. Yeah, so I'm sure they have family plans for what they envision their family to look like in the future, but I wouldn't think, I mean, even if she wanted to use the same surrogate, the surrogate needs a couple months to like have a break, yeah. have a moment, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. So, I don't know, I hope they have more kids, but yeah. who's to say? Like, the source, the It's source. just such a personal choice. headline and yeah. like, it's so awkward. Like, it's a, yeah, you're right, it's a very personal choice and then to have somebody be like, they're already planning and Kanye was bonding with the husband, I'd be like, what are you talking about? Like, it just seems like they, they wrote about it as if they were there watching it all happen. But she has what? North is what, two, three? I have no idea, but she's a babe. So. Yeah, Saint is what, two? Yeah. So I think it's probably, they're probably like four, two, and a newborn at this point. Yeah. Not North, North. Saint is two, North is four. I can't even keep up with all these Kardashians and Jenners. Yeah. But yeah, she already You're has having a trouble of keeping ones. up with the Kardashians? I have, I am. Keeping up with the Kardashians is harder than it seems. Yeah. Um, but speaking of them being a growing family and people having a lot to say about that, um, apparently TMZ got a photocopy of Chicago's birth certificate, which saw seems that. so intrusive to it me. Is. I'm like, can they please have at least one document to themselves? Yeah. But on the birth certificate, you see all of the baby's information that Chicago was born on January 15th. She weighed seven pounds and six ounces. She was delivered via surrogate by actually Dr. Paul Crane, who is the same doctor who delivered North and Saint and pretty much all the Kardashians. The birth certificate did not reveal the identity of Kimye surrogate, thankfully, um, because you can imagine what the media would do with that information if they knew who that woman was. I don't know. I feel like we get too much information about these people, it's you know? Just, it's just bizarre. Like, what do we even want with a birth certificate? Exactly. To know how much the baby, like, 
weight at birth. Who like cares? most people just tell us those little details. If they it's want weird. to. Yeah. Like who cares? How much I weighed as a baby has nothing to do with how much I weigh as an yeah. adult. I mean I honestly I don't remember how much my son weighed at birth and somebody asked me the other day and like I was like, I don't know. They were like, You don't know? And I was like, No, who I'm cares? Sorry. All right, you guys, do you have enough money to go on this Potter cruise, Harry Potter cruise? Let us know in the comments how much you would pay for this trip. Because $4,000, I don't know that I'd pay it, but I'm also not a Harry Potter fan, so there's that. <laughs> Anyways. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know how I'm gonna make my money for the Harry Potter cruise, since I'm a die go Harry Potter. No, I'm gonna place a bet on when Kylie's gonna give birth mm. to the baby. How, so you're gonna put how much down to win how much? Um, I'll put like, 50 bucks down to win 4,000. No, I'm just kidding. Well, they all have to put at least 50 bucks <laughs> yeah, down then. That's true. That's yeah, true. so everybody weigh in in the comments when you think Kylie's gonna have her baby. What's Real soon. Bet? I'm gonna guess February 5th. I like that. I said February 12th, actually. Okay. I like so it. So we'll see. You all sounded right. really confident, now I'm nervous. Well, I've already thought through it. Okay. So yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, you guys, let us know in the comments what you think. And tomorrow is freaking Friday. Woo! DHR, we're so excited, and we'll see you back here then. Bye. Bye. Click left to find out why Ed Sheeran might be quitting music. Or to the right to see Jake Paul respond to all the Logan Paul drama.